it's absurd, but it's not absurd. Okay, so why? It's not that like uh, public opinion in general in the state of Indiana is worrying about the US-Mexico border, but it's that uh, the, the rhetoric resonates, I think, with core base voters. And, and uh, its symbolism is more important than any policy issue. It's what it's about is registering hostility towards Washington, by the way, all those Republicans and who were in the White House were in Washington, you know, but like it's an anti-Washington, anti-federal government rhetoric. Um, you know, it's a rhetoric that our society is being taken over by the left, by people who hate America. This is the, the discourse. And I think the, the, the reference to the southern border, securing the southern border, it's also linked to the message of securing us against crime. Now, crime is a slightly more complicated issue. But I, I do think that, it, so it, it articulates a lot of resentments. And I think those resentments resonate with, with base voters. Um, and I don't think uh, it's uh, liberal voters, progressive voters, many democratic voters, you know, are not moved by that rhetoric. But in most of the races in this state, you know, there are some exceptions in Indianapolis. There are some blue areas, in most of the races in this state, it's not a, it's a one, it's a red state. And so the, the red rhetoric, the blood red meat rhetoric of Trumpism um, resonates. It also resonates, I think, with donors, with far right donors who back a lot of these candidates. And I think that there is a question that some people have as to whether Trump himself, you know, is kind of like uh, a loose cannon who might not in any particular race have the same uh, traction that he once did. That's Trump himself. But then there's Trumpism. And I think, you know, all of these candidates are gonna run on a basically Trumpist platform, which means mainly negative. It means uh, exaggerating things like critical race theory and um, securing the Southern border. Okay, as far as I know, the southern border of the state of Indiana is Kentucky. Okay, I don't know what they're how they're going to secure that border. Uh, I guess maybe people like you in Louisville are like a danger to. We need to make Indiana great again. But um, so you know, at, at, it's a very relentlessly negative message, and also it is linked to the continued rhetoric, which some of the candidates emphasize more than others, of stop the steal, and you know. A, a range of voter restrictions and the notion that the 2020 election was basically stolen, which is a lie. So and I do think that that's the general rhetorical frame. Um, uh, and that is something that will be pursued by whoever gets the nomination, which is probably going to be Sagro.